everyone. I'm so excited to send you this video because today I'm going to tell you exactly how to make your recording for the Christmas concert. So let's begin. You and your family are going to perform the specific song and the specific verse that I sent you. Now I'm going to pretend Mr. Sam and myself are our own family and we've been assigned a song. This isn't real, it's just pretend so that I can give you an example. When setting up for your video, what you need to make sure of is if you're using a phone, you need to make sure your camera is in landscape mode. So you're horizontal filming rather than vertical. If vertical, it won't work. I'll need to send it back to you and you'll need to try again. If horizontal, great work, way to pay attention. Make sure your video is recorded horizontally. Here's a few tips and tricks for your recordings to make sure they sound good and they look good. Make sure you're close enough to the screen so that we can actually see your face. Make sure your face isn't too close to the screen that we can only see your face and not your family's to wear your nice clothing, whether it's a nice Christmas dress or a Christmas suit, or if you have really fun sweaters for Christmas, use those. Make sure to dress up however you want, but know that other people are gonna be watching you, so make sure you look nice. Now, if you're playing instruments, it's important that all of the instruments are shown. So if you're playing the piano, make sure the piano is shown a little bit but more importantly is your faces. So if you're playing a violin or a cello and there's other people in your family playing instruments, just move the instruments around so that your faces are seen, but glimpses of the instruments are shown also so that we are able to see what instruments are being played in your recording. If you're not doing any instruments with your recording, make sure your body is shown in your video. If you're just singing along, or if you're doing some kind of dance or movement, make sure your body is shown in the camera so that we can see it. If you're using just your voices for your recording and no other instruments, make sure you record along with the final recording I sent you. This is not the one with my voice. This is the one with just the piano. This is super important because I want to hear your voices singing, not mine in the background. So for example, this is what you would do if you are just singing along with your family to the song, and we'll say the first Snow Wow. Notice too, I have a happy face. My face is smiling, or at least my eyes are smiling. We need to make sure that our faces look excited and engaged in our videos instead of scared or wide-eyed or nervous. Maybe you're feeling it inside, but on the outside, make sure your face shows confidence in what you're doing and not embarrassment at all. You've got this. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds. make sure that your sound works well. So before you send me your final recording, listen back to it and make sure it's the best that you can do as a family. The sound is good, the video quality is good, everybody's inside. And lastly, for those who are using instruments to play for the song, let's say some of you are using instruments and some in your family are singing, if you're doing both, I would like the instrumentalists to use headphones to either one, listen to the piano recording only of the music, or they can use a metronome. Now, what I use is I use my AirPods, you can use any headphones, and I make sure to stick only one in because I need to hear the people around me. I stick my AirPod in or my headphones and I connect to my metronome. Now the metronome is the steady beat that ticks, ticks, ticks to keep me playing in tempo, not to speed up and not to slow down. 
As an instrumentalist, this is super important so that I can stay in the beat. If you would rather play along with the song, you can use the recording that I sent you on Seesaw, the final recording, have it playing in your ear so you can play along. It's totally fine if you are in a video, in your final video, you have headphones in, it just shows that you're a professional musician. You're working with other things to keep you professional. Remember, you can use either my recording of the piano playing by itself. Please don't use the one with my voice because if you do, I'll send it back to you and ask you to re-record it because I don't need to hear my voice singing. I need to hear your voices or your instruments playing. Now, if you're just singing and you have my piano playing in the background, that's fine because that's just my piano with your voices singing over it. For those instrumentalists who are playing piano, it's important that you just use the metronome in your ear with your headphones instead of my piano part so that you can just stay within the time. But if you want to use my piano part and listen to it while you're playing your piano part, that's totally fine. Oh, mm -hmm.